four, three, two, one. Hello and welcome from Learn English in a few minutes. We're gonna hear a short story with part one. Good luck for everyone. The Fifteenth Character by Rosemary Border, read by Nick Mercer. Chapter One. Jobs for today. Every day, lots of different people come to Happy Hills, because there are lots of exciting things to do. Sally Brown works at Happy Hills in her holiday. She is a student, and she wants to be a teacher. I need the money, she tells her family, and it's an interesting job. But she is always very tired in the evening. The workers at Happy Hills. Arrive early in the morning. They all wear clean green trousers and yellow shirts. They must smile a lot and be nice to all the visitors. Every morning, Mr. Parry puts a list of jobs for today in the workers' canteen. Mr. Parry wears different clothes. His shirt is green, and his trousers are white, and he wears a red coat, with "I'm Ken Parry, can I help you?" on his pocket. The visitors call him Ken, but all the workers call him Mr. Parry. Today. Sally arrives at Happy Hills at eight o'clock. On her shirt, there is a picture of a smiling face, and "Have a happy day," in black and red writing. She goes to the canteen, and looks for Mister Parry's list. What job am I doing today? Sally thinks, "Am I making tea, or helping in the children's playhouse?" But Sally is wrong. The list says, "Sally Brown, Connie Cat, break, eleven o'clock." Oh no! Thinks Sally. Nobody likes wearing the costumes, but at Happy Hills, the characters are very important. The visitors like to take photos of their children with Cowboy Joe, Charlie Clown, Baby Blue Eyes, Photo Phil, Big John, Connie Cat, Big Apple, Miss Flower. Edward Elephant and all their friends. Everybody always asks the same questions. Are you very hot in your costume? And how do you eat and drink? Edward Elephant has the best job. He has a bag of water under his costume. He can spray the visitors with water. And photo Phil, and Charlie Clown, make everybody laugh. But Connie Cat cannot do that. She can only say meow to the children all day. 
Sally looks for her costume. A tall man in a cowboy costume is standing beside her. Hello, Sally, says the cowboy. It's me, William. William is a student too. He is Sally's friend. Which costume are you looking for? Connie Cat. When's your break? Eleven o'clock. Me too. Chapter Two. Here comes Zap. It is nine o'clock. The doors open, but there are not many visitors today. They all have invitations, and they show them to Mister Parry. A very famous man is coming to Happy Hills, so Mister Parry is very excited. Zap's coming today. He's opening the new Zappocopter. Says William to Sally. Stop talking and do some work, says Mister Parry. Zap is a singer. Sally loves listening to his songs, and she has all his CDs. There is a picture of him in her room too. The Zappocopter is very exciting. People can sit in little helicopters and go up and down very fast. The visitors stand behind a blue rope and wait for Zap. Please stay behind the rope," says Mister Parry. Suddenly, there is a noise in the sky. Everybody looks up. It's Zap's helicopter," says William. The helicopter comes down, and Zap gets out. He smiles at the visitors. "Oh, he's wonderful," says a young girl. She gives Zap a flower. He gives her a big smile, and says. Thank you. Sally is hot and thirsty in her costume. She wants to talk too, but Mister Parry is watching. Chapter Three. Zap's new song. Mister Parry. Takes the singer to the zappercopter. Zap cuts the rope. Thank you, Zap. Now, please, can you sing for us? Says Mister Parry. Okay, but the people must help me. He says. He begins to sing. Everybody knows the song, and sings it with him. Thank you," says Zap. "You're all wonderful singers. Now, look at this." He takes a CD out of his pocket. "This is my new song," he says. "Please sing it for us," say the TV men. But Zap smiles. "No, no." You must come to my big concert next Saturday. He puts the CD in his pocket again. Now, let's go on the zappercopter," says Zap. He sees a teacher with some children. Would they like to come too? He asks her. Of course. Says the teacher. They help the children into the helicopters. Zap 
smiles and smiles. The photographers take lots of pictures. Photo Phil arrives too. He is one of the Happy Hills characters. He takes a photo of the children, and sprays them with water. Everybody laughs. Sap is having a wonderful day. He speaks to the TV people. The photographers take photos of him with all the characters. Sap meets Charlie Clown. Charlie gives him a flower. And the flower sprays him with water. Everybody laughs. Sally meets Zap too, and she is very excited. But she cannot talk to him, because she is wearing her cat costume, and Mr. Parry is watching.